Hello everyone. Good morning, good evening, good welcome. Um wherever it is you you are in the world and whenever you are in the world. Um today I'm just going to talk about two little things. So my Sunday service yesterday, which was a service of morning prayer. So not a Eucharist as I'm a deacon and I'm not allowed to preside over a Eucharist just yet. Um you've got to be a priest to do that and um that's the next stage of my uh, my development for me so uh, i was on my own and doing the eucharist yesterday oh, sorry doing doing morning prayer yesterday um and it was it was very interesting because the the obviously i'd read the gospel reading for the day and i preached on that gospel reading and then somebody organized to do the prayers now when they did the prayers they didn't know what my um my 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 sermon would be about which is always interesting so they they just did the did the did their 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 bit and what was fascinating was that those prayers lined up so perfectly with both the gospel reading and the message that I'd pulled out of uh of in my sermon so i thought that was a, a really fascinating thing and um many people come up to say that to me then also the organist chose a few songs a few hymns to sing as well uh, as she normally does and the fascinating thing with that is they also lined up with the prayers the gospel reading and the the uh, the sermon that i did and it was really fascinating really inspiring to see the holy spirit moving in that service and giving it really had such a strong message to say in that service that it couldn't go without mention today the other thing i did yesterday was i met somebody who is interested in uh, being baptized and being christened um and uh, she's she's an adult a young adult a young youngster and um one of the questions she had was about going to heaven who goes to heaven who doesn't go to heaven it's often a very big question the bible is fairly clear on this um jesus says that you need to do two things that you need to love god believe in god believe in christ and you need to be baptized and those two things will ensure your place in heaven now she are we went then talked a little bit about sin and who goes to it what happens if somebody who's bad what what happens to them do they go to heaven or don't they so we talked about for example a murderer and that those crimes are pretty serious and then we talked about the thief and whether the thief goes to heaven and her answer there was uh, it depends on on how much how bad he's been now it's it's not without reason to say that murder is more serious than theft but there's still sins in god's eyes and one of the things that i mentioned to her was about the the two thieves on the cross the two criminals on the cross and one says to jesus you're you're god aren't you you can you can get us off of here why don't you 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 know do your magic and get us down and the other thief thief uh, he he reprimands him and says listen buddy we we're, we're here because we deserve to be here we've done wrong the guy next to us hasn't done anything wrong and he's here with us and then he says jesus remember me when you go into your garden or when you go to heaven jesus remember me when you go to heaven and jesus says something very profound to him he says today you will be with me in paradise today you'll be with me in paradise so you'll be he's going to heaven so i think that's fascinating because the thief is recognizing god in jesus he's recognizing jesus as the messiah as god he believes okay he may not have been baptized but it's an element of there's an element of forgiveness there so what's interesting there is the thief goes to heaven what if he was a murderer and did the same 
What about murderers in prison? Now, imagine now I'm, I've murdered somebody and I go to prison. Not, I'm not a Christian, but in prison, I find God. In prison, I read the Bible. In prison, I decide to get baptised and I believe in Jesus and I repent, truly repent of my sin. I may never get out of prison, but I, my place in, in heaven is assured. Now, the interesting thing with that is if we read, if we read uh, Corinthians, sorry, 2 Corinthians uh, 19, and I'm going to read from uh, 18 onwards. Um, and it says here, all of this from God, who reconciled himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ God. Sorry, in Christ, God was re reconciled himself to the world. God is not counting that people's sins against them and entrusting the message of reconcili reconciliation to us. God is not... Oh, look at that. I can't see my eyes. God is not counting your sins. God is not counting your sins. We all sin. I sin. You sin. We are not sinless. We can have days where we sin much less. We might even have the odd day where we don't sin at all. But there are sins that we don't even know about. We may sin without even recognising that sin. And God isn't counting those sins. As long as we truly repent, we're truly sorry. We believe that Jesus was the resurrected God. And we have become baptised. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.